Hello. This week, a lesson on the power of networking, and also an amusing description of the learning process. My name is Hamish Robertson. I'm the CEO and co-founder of the Watch Collectors Club, and this is my weekly vlog about my journey into the crazy world of entrepreneurship. This last couple of weeks has seen a great example of the power of networking. Many people find networking a scary concept, they don't quite know how to do it, they don't really understand it, and they only think about it in negative terms. I've always seen networking as a thing that just is a part of your life. It's about finding the opportunities that other people can bring, and that's kind of all it is. I also find it fairly easy because I'm a very sociable chap. In the last couple of weeks, a great opportunity has arisen for the club for us to do our first partner event, and it all came about because I went to another event with a friend. Before the event, we got chatting to some of the other audience members, and I met a nice lady who was a member of a club. She had a problem. A speaker had dropped out for their uh, monthly lunch series. I volunteered my services, and she said, well, why don't you come down to the club, attend a charity concert we're doing, and meet the person who arranges the events. That happened this week. The concert was fantastic, and lo and behold, I'm now doing uh, a, lun a talk for them over lunch next month. It's a simple story, but it's all about seizing the opportunity you're given. And I wanted to bring it up because it's the kind of thing that networking is all about. It's not just about being in the right place at the right time. It's about seizing the opportunity in the right way and giving them something that they need in return for something they can give you. It's an interesting example I wanted to relay because I think a lot of people just think too negatively. But whereas if you think about it, it's just the opportunity set from all of the people you've yet to meet and whatever they could bring you. It makes it easier to be open-minded towards the possibilities. The other thing I wanted to bring up was quite a funny example from yesterday. I'm very pleased to know we did our first in-person event since the pandemic started. And indeed, really, it's the first official in-person event of the Watch Collectors Club. It went really well, but I got a good example of how much you have to learn when you're an entrepreneur. Everything is about thinking of new ideas and trying them out and seeing if they work. The problem is, for many new ideas, they might be a good idea, but only when trying to implement it do you realize that you need to do about 10 other things to make it work successfully. We've had the idea that we're going to give people handouts at our event so that they can go onwards on afterwards and we can point them to resources to further explore the watch world that we trust and use ourselves. We didn't actually, however, make a plan to how we're going to distribute the handouts. So unfortunately, uh, quite a few people left without taking one and they're left over. And also I designed them badly so we can't use them again. Uh, thinking about this lesson learned made me chuckle today, but I thought I'd bring it up as it's a great example of how many things you have to learn by doing, both when you run an events business, we're holding these events to learn how to run better events, but also just when you're an entrepreneur. It's a daily battle of, oh, and now I need to do this. And then I hadn't thought about that. And now I'm going to have to think about this. It's great fun. It's what I signed up to. I'll keep giving more examples because that's what building in public is all about. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in the Watch Collectors Club, please go to www.thewatchcollectors.club. And if you're interested in me, make sure you subscribe to this channel and follow along as I on for my weekly blog. Thank you.